Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'll present you a work titled um, A Python Tool for QJS for Gender Recognition in Street uh, di di Directories. So the framework is that in the last years, uh, the attention of uh, gender equality in all contexts uh, uh, has increased all over the world. Uh, the sensibility of a public administration towards the naming uh, of streets and the point of interest after women uh, has highlighted that uh, um, the toponymy has always been oriented to the choice of male figures. So the goal of our work is to, um, to automate the gender recognizance starting from a list of names, uh, for example, a street directory. And there are um, uh, already uh, available many, uh, many methods of association between uh, the name and the gender, but uh, uh, not of all natively uh, take into account the position of the element considered. Uh, we considered uh, several solutions, and uh, at final, we chose to implement uh, un, um, a simple, uh, a manageable uh, solution based on the use of Wikidata's API uh, within a Python code embedded in QGIS. In Q, in QGIS sorry. The implementation, the method is based on the searching for gender information about a real human being in Wikidata. So, uh, no Pinocchio and no Peter Pan, but yes, Michelangelo or Buonarroti. Um, the implemented function, starting from the street name that is contained in a field of the uh, input geographic layer, extra extracts the general value from the Wikidata, Wikidata uh, JSON if uh, this, uh, um, this entry uh, it exists. The advantage of this kind of, the, of our method, we think, is that uh, it's based on universally recognized database uh, Wikidata. It is a language independent because uh, uh, the ID of a Wikidata record is unique for all languages. Uh, if the person uh, searched uh, does not exist, uh, we can uh, create directly in Wikipedia uh, a, new, a, new, a new record. It is integrated into QGIS as a, as a function, so uh, the, this function can be used uh, within the algor algorithm uh, streamings, for, for example, in, in a model builder. And uh, for us, it's a very important point. It is ind independent of the structure of the input data set. So we can start from uh, a data set from coming from OpenStreetMap or, for example, local uh, street directory. OK. Uh, the uh, disadvantage is it's, it only works when we are connected to the web. And actually, it doesn't uh, handle mul multiple responses in, in the case of homony homonymia. Uh, this is an example of a, a real, a real, real uh, data set of Regione Piemonte. Uh, we have the, uh, the street name and the result is, a, is, is the field. For example, uh, Umberto I, uh, past king of Italy, it is uh, male. Uh, Umberto Saba or Giovanni Pascoli uh, really recognize it as a, a male and a female. And uh, if the, uh, the API uh, don't, doesn't recognize uh, the, the, the item, uh, a, a mark, a, a, star, a star is is uh, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the field. If we don't have, uh, if the field is blank, uh, it, it means that the record doesn't exist in Wikidata. For example, uh, via Trino is, the, uh, is, Trino is, is a city, so it is not a person. Thank you. You finished.